it's Loz here from Two Crafty Sheilas. Um, today I've got Belle on the line with me and we're going to do our first ever post review. And um, we were, we've been thinking that because it's especially companies that we don't use too often or are new companies to us, we thought we might give it a go and actually do a post review on them just to give you guys a, a, an idea of what these smaller companies are like and what they are um and what you can expect from them so the first one we're going to do a post review for is um from art and soul and they are a company that we've i've just sort of recently found in the last few months they have an amazing facebook group um which they everybody shares things they're very supportive and it's quite a, a really nice experience and they have so many licensed artists it's it's overwhelming who you want to who you want to pick and see and and what you'd like to do um they have recently signed Hanalyn so when that news came out I immediately went over and purchased this kit called DD can I say it happened so fast uh -huh. I hadn't even heard the news and she'd already gone over and bought a kit yeah that was how fast it happened guys yeah <laughs> it was it this is sunflowers and yellow so i'm my favorite color is yellow i'm addicted to sunflowers just everything all in the one kit it's a portrait it's full of color blocking it's just me me to a t and um i have finished it um you may have seen it in a our finishes um video that's probably come out now or not i'm not sure but i thought we'd just go go over some of the features what was amazing if i had anything that i didn't like but don't expect any of that because i i loved every part of it so um yeah so this is yeah <laughs> spoiler alert yeah you don't need to hang around now you know i love it <laughs> <laughs> so um this is the kit this is again it's hannah lynn and it's dd and it's 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters so a really nice size um we have got a dedicated unboxing for this one and we can link it in the description if you wanted to see it first but i bought this kit on the 25th of june it did take I think I got it in early August, but that with Art and Soul, they actually ship for overseas customers. They ship from the warehouse to us. Whereas if you're in um, America, they actually ship to um, Jess and Melissa and they pack them all up and then they ship them out to you guys. So this come direct to me from the warehouse and because it was such a big time for them with orders, it did take quite a while. But um, from what I know now is it's back to normal, which is about three to four weeks. So I started this one on the 7th of September and finished it on the 17th of September. So 10 days, it was absolutely incredible. I, I didn't want to stop. I loved every second. And um, if I could have had sick days and no work, I would have done that. <laughs> just to keep going with this one i didn't want it to end so it is a round kit and there was 47 colors there was three ab's and two soul dust so art and soul their soul dust is like a glittery um glittery drill okay it's very beautiful i'll show you my my book here that i've got so i this is my log book and how i put the sticker and i put the washi tape in that i've used and and it's all this but washi I'm it's so nice. I got that one from Kmart. So oh, nice. It's wattle. Yeah, I thought it was quite pretty. Just sort of fitting to the kit. But I've started actually like putting in what the drills are in, in my logbook just so I can have an idea of what the, the specials were and just assemble. So I don't miss them in the kit. I, as you'll see in a second, I had so much, so many left over. So these were the special drills absolutely gorgeous and you can see i all i wrote in it was that i loved it that's it nothing else nothing else in this um yeah the i just love the amount of detail that you've got in a reasonably small kit that's it's beautiful it, it is isn't it it is beautiful like yes okay it is quite simple and this was it's very bright if yeah. i have to say something her skin color is very bright but I don't care. <laughs> but it was also, yeah. that was true to the original, wasn't it's it? It's true to the original. Oh, yeah, 
Maybe. Let me hang on. That's through my book. Um, I think she's a bit paler in the original. Okay. But she does have that pink tone. So it's probably the closest they can match to it. But it doesn't matter. You know, like having the brighter pink in the cheek, in her cheeks, especially down here. And that's yeah. the, you know, the colour. I think that one, I'll have to find it. We were just talking about it in another kit and how it looks weird when you, you use it on its own or you see it in the packet. But when you put this colour here, this green, put it on the kit, it just looks incredible. Um, mm. It's not not sort of a colour I like, but I think it's 165 or 166. Be one of them. Mm. But I, I had no I ask, Yeah. With the, with the eyeshadow, I didn't see that in the thumbnail image, like in your logbook sticker. Is yeah. that eyeshadow, like I'm going to say the, the, is it a bright yellow, bright yellowy green? Yeah, it, see, it there's is. nothing under the eyebrow. No, there is. I could tell you, it is like a, a very subtly lighter colour, yellow okay. in there. So they've just there made it is. a bit brighter. It, they've just made it brighter, yeah. Okay. Just you can see it, like especially in this part here. I know it's not; it's very blurry and it's very hard to show. But uh, it's—I don't think it's under the eye, though. It's not under the eye, so they've just sort of—they have probably exacerbated that a bit. <laughs> but I think okay. she looks beautiful. Yeah, it's still a lovely, and I love that it ties in with the sunflowers. It doesn't; it's not it's a bad thing that they're bright in that area. No, no. And to think, you know, those colours, I I would think that that's one of the ABs. You know, that colour, it's probably too bright for under the eyebrows there, even though they did it anyway, brighter. But, yeah, that's probably sort of the colour I would have looked at. But, yeah, just that oh, um, yeah. But to me, it's very, it is close-ish to her but it's a good pickup i didn't even think of that i didn't even look <laughs> i didn't even look at the the original for that there was some gapping but that's me you know that's probably my placement so it's a round one i'm not really i don't really focus on what it looks like and um all those sort of stuff i just enjoyed it i just went through it so fast the sunflower was incredible rendered amazing um yeah, I love that so these... even getting into the centre of the sunflower, like even from oh. here, you can kind of see those colour changes like you would see in a sunflower, like with the you little seeds. Yep. It's beautiful. So they've got the brown in the middle there, then they've got the yeah. patches of black, and then they have so many different changes in the brown and around mm. the edge. It's amazing. I tell you, it's, it's so true to it. And we've got a whole heap of sunflowers at my son's and daughter's school at the moment and and looking at them you know all it needs now is just like a bee or something sitting in the middle of it to me yeah. and that would just be incredible so it yeah i gotta start gloating about it but yeah it's, it's <laughs> you're allowed to this favorites. is the post review you're it allowed is. to gloat. this it is beautiful my, it was my experience my opinion and yeah i just i can't fault them in any way so i'll show you this is my trash I can't so, believe there's so little trash. And and to think of all the black in that, yep. I bear, I have more oranges in trash than I do the black. So wow. that's, that really speaks for itself, I think. And I'll show you. I think I had like nine bags of 310. This is all my leftovers. I actually just put them. I worked out of the baggies because I had Herbert kitted up still, I think, and... <laughs> Or something like that, and I didn't have my thing, so I just worked out of baggies in these little Timo containers. But I have oh, almost wow. two full bags of black left. <laughs> so uh, I can't complain. I, I had plenty of diamonds. It it wasn't that was not an issue. Didn't run close on any of them. So they were oh, wow. all the all the greens. Yeah. yeah. It, it truly was an, an amazing experience and I really think you need to go and get yourself some. <laughs> Anybody needs, if they're looking for something a bit different, um, want to try out a new company, I highly recommend Art and Soul. 
So with their shipping as well, they actually include, it's all included in the price. So you don't have to pay any, any extra. All your shipping's covered. Um, they had, this is one of their special jewels. It was that green. So beautiful. Plenty left over. Gorgeous. And I'm going to keep all my special jewels. I love this yellow. I'm a sucker for that yellow. That is so mm. nice. That is such mm. a nice AB. It is. Yeah. And I had no issues with anything. So um, highly recommend. Um, we'll put a link down to their website in the description. And really please go over and have a have a look if you like and please support them because um, Melissa and Jess are really working their butts off and um, they run special little competitions every week on their in their Facebook group and um, yeah it's really a, it's a really nice community to be involved in so please go and check them out but yeah this is um, Dee Dee from Hannah Lynn and we might wrap it up there any <laughs> anything else that like takes you want to ask Bell or are you good I, no, I'm good. I was just going to say, um, for those out there, so I had originally looked at Art and Soul after Loz had rushed off and already bought this before <laughs> I even got to say. Um, <laughs> so I had a look at them and I will say early on there was a lot of portrait style. So they were yeah. not my style of painting. Um, but obviously because we've got a channel, we've actually been talking to Melissa and Jess and they are beautiful, beautiful people. Um, but when we've sort of been talking to them, I was sort of saying, you know, it's, there's, there's not a lot of my style in there, but they've reassured me that they're actually starting to bring out a few more which aren't quite as portrait style. Um, mm. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to be checking back regularly and, and after seeing how much Loz is gushing about this <laughs> kit, I'm definitely yeah. keen to give them a go. And especially with Black Friday coming up, um, yes. I'll definitely be seeing, you know, what's out there that's, that is more to my style. And I'm really keen to, to get a couple of kits and give it a go. So, mm. you know, even if this isn't your style or Hannah Lynn's not your style, check them out. They're, they are getting a bigger range and a lot of new artists are signing up um, nowadays. So, you know, you might find something more to your liking if this is not part of that. Yeah. And you can choose between like a round and a square. So if you, you're not too happy with like your squares or you, you prefer to stick to rounds. Um, I chose round for this one because I knew it wouldn't be that in depth. You know, it didn't need that extra um, precision of the drills and stuff. So that's why I went. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to try a square out, to see how they are. And um, yeah. Um, did they have, they had lots of the different sizes as well for you to pick from, didn't they? Yeah, you could pick all different sizes and because it's all made to measure what you want and um, you can choose to have the, the sawdust, like the extras or not. And I don't, it doesn't, didn't have too much um, factoring in onto the price. So oh. um, yeah, I just decided to add them on and I think it's, it worked oh, so well. 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 Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So please um, let us know in the comments if you've worked on some art and soul work, if you're working on one now, if you're going to go and buy one. I'd love to hear what, what you think and, yeah, it would be nice to see what you're working on. So thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this first official post review. It was a bit of a mishmash, but I got there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, Don't forget the thumbs up. Exactly. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to hang around and listen to us ramble on and go down many, many, many deep rabbit holes and <laughs> come back up again and finish the the, um, the video. So everybody, I hope you all take care and I hope you have an amazing week and we'll see you again soon um, in another one. All right. Thanks, guys. Catch you later, guys. Bye.